And welcome back. Hey, the New York Public Library are always doing some big things, some great things in our community. The New York Public Library has a, a number of upcoming college and career fairs. They do them all the time. And joining us with a preview, we have Manuel, Manuel Martinez, uh, Louis Surreal, Surreal, yeah. and Michelle Matheson. We welcome you guys to the show. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for having us. I said it better the second time, right? Yeah, yeah. You did. <laughs> second time, second time. <laughs> All right, so you guys are down with the New York Public Library, huh? Yes, yes. And um, how's our girl, Sandra? She's doing well. She's <laughs> doing well. She's actually the one that put this together for us. Uh -huh. So um, this is the second time around for uh, the library. You know, we've been doing this for quite some uh -huh. time at my location, yeah, which I is the Allerton branch. Before. Yes. Last year we were here uh, at Allerton. We're, uh, this is the second time around that we're doing this event. And um, last year was a huge success. So we decided why not, you know, be able to provide uh, this college and career fair to the community mm -hmm. this time around. Um, part of our goal this year was uh, college readiness. And that not only targets teens, but it targets adults as well. And then we saw uh, there's a great need for employment. People come into the library, you know, every day printing out resumes, looking sure. for work. So we figured why not bring that to the community? Um, so ours at the Allerton Library, located on 2740 Barnes Avenue, mm -hmm. would uh, be taking place Friday, May 19th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yes. So um, are you with the Allerton Library? Also? So I'm with the Edenwall Library. And ours is next You guys week? are from different libraries? Yes and no. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is, uh, we're having the career, uh, career and college fairs at different locations around. Uh -oh. So. For Manuel, he had one last year. This is our first one at Edenwood, and we're excited. We're looking forward to it. Um, and you see it every day uh, for many groups we serve, whether it be uh, kids getting out to go into the workforce. You have, we have an immigrant community trying to start a new life here. And we also have older patrons, you know, trying to make a career change sure. and such. When you talk about college ready, like you mentioned, what do you get the, the students ready for? I, I get people ready for employment. So I'm an employment okay. recruiter. So okay. I work with one of the largest nonprofits in New York City and I recruit. So my goal in working with the library is really to prepare the job seekers for what hiring managers are really looking for. A lot of yeah. people looking for a job really aren't connected to the realities of the workplace right now. And in, what happens is they have a very long job search. They're searching for a job over six months. Yeah, yeah. No. So how do you make that connection? How do you bring them on the same page as the working community? You know, the first thing I ask people is, what do you really want to do? A lot of people are going into careers because they think it's the right thing or they're hearing about employment trends, but that's really, like, not the way to go about it. The yeah. way to go about it because is... Because it just becomes a job and not really a career because exactly. you feel later on that this is not my passion and maybe you want to move off and try to get something exactly. else. Exactly. And then us as the interviewers, we can tell. We know who's passionate, we know who really wants the job, mm. and we know who's just looking for like a check. But how do you make that match though? If somebody mm -hmm. is out in the job world, they think they're just, I, I need to make some money, I need to get some benefits, but is it a long-term passionate thing that they feel? Well, one of the easiest things that I recommend people do is actually work with the staffing agency. Th these people are actually paid to get you a job, right? So mm -hmm. they'll ask you questions, do assessments, and work with they'll you. They'll put you on track. They'll put you on track because they're going to get paid when you get a job. So their motivation for you to get a job is super high. But doing it by yourself sometimes, if this is not like your thing or your knack, you might mm -hmm. be in a hopeless moment battle in your job search. Yeah, because sometimes you're just after that, uh, that paycheck and exactly. not really the long-term thing. Exactly. You mentioned something about college preparedness or yeah college readiness so what we want to do is a lot of a lot of teens come into uh, you know lo libraries and they you know they feel discouraged or they don't know what path to take to get into college and we want to prep them for that you know we want to provide them with the resources with programming with events with activities to mm -hmm. sort of prep them and guide them make them feel a little more confident into going into co going into college, yeah. um, and by doing so, you know we, we host fairs uh, such as these college and career fairs, and um, yeah. we want the community to take advantage of uh, of these fairs, and we want them to know that they're there. You can find more information about the events and programming at nypl.org forward slash events. So, at these college and career fairs, what will people learn? People come down. You have everything all mm -hmm. under one roof. Or, you have the people who are that can hire you. You have the people who can so we, we have get you into college. We have three groups, three groups coming. So we we have colleges. We have CUNY, uh, Monroe, uh, Fordham. Uh, we have recruiters, uh, AHRC, 
uh, there's various others. And then there's also support services um, that are giving guidance and steps like to help people um, making that career or seeking out. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a three, three, those three groups of people. Yeah. I think that's very important. You guys are putting it together to help people in our community. Yes. I like that. You know, I stand behind it 100%. Mm -hmm. I agree. And we're, you know, we're an informational resource mm -hmm. to the community. We're there to provide for the community. And we want to let, you know, we want, we want the community to let their elected officials know that investing in libraries is mm -hmm. investing in all New Yorkers. Do, do, you, do you still need a library card to do all of these things? So, to get a library <laughs> card is free. <laughs> free, free, free. <laughs> By participating in these, it's free. Because There's you guys nothing have required. Evolved for sure. I mean, it used to be back in the days you needed that library card and everything was at the library. Now, kids these days can go straight to the library through their smartphone, through their computers, tablets. Yes, they can. And we you actually. Have that, you have that there too. Yeah, we so got a new app yeah. actually. It's called Simply E, and you can access, you can actually register for a card on there and you can have access to over 300,000 books on there. Look at that, yeah. see? In addition, there's also the various uh, online databases we have like for research and such. I didn't hear uh, you. Cut out. Sorry. No, no, yeah. okay. So, um, yeah, so various databases like Learning Express Library, mm. um, Career Cruising, a lot of things that, like information sources that normally cost money to subscribe to, but they're all free through a library card. Oh, that's great too. Mm -hmm. and. But, but you still have to, when you check out a, a book, if you go in there personally and you show your library card and you check out a book, you still does you that. You still a card, from what I understand. Yeah. You still, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a nice card, though. You, you, will, a, you would like to, you, you wouldn't mind it's having a card with a chip on it. You can thumb through it and check out the books. No, that's in the future. Nowadays, technology is advancing. Yes, you never know. <laughs> but I, I thank you guys for the wonderful job that you guys are doing in our community, helping to educate and helping to uh, employ our, our, our people in our community. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to do so. All right, New York Public Library. The website is, you want to give one or you want to? Uh, so it's nypl.org and under location. So Manny works at Allerton. I work at Edenwall Library. Uh, all the libraries, they have events going on for their own community. So check us out. And if you would like more information also in regards to the career department, career and education department, you can go to nypl.org forward slash C-E-I-S. NYPL, give them a big round of applause. We'll take a quick break. We'll come right back with more. Don't go anywhere. Pick up something and read it. <laughs>